state Gibbs phase rule and explain the terms involved. In 1876, Willard Gibbs stated a general principle called phase rule. The phase rule mathematically can be expressed as f is equals to c minus p plus 2, where f is degree of freedom, c is number of components, and p is number of phases. It governs the behavior of heterogeneous systems. And the main terms involved in the phase rule are p phases, c components, and f degree of freedom. First, phases. A homogeneous, physically distinct, and mechanically separable part of a heterogeneous system is called phase. Gases are miscible in each other in all proportions. So, the mixture of two or more gases constitute one phase system. A mixture of immiscible liquids consists of as many phases as the number of liquids. Water and oil forms two phase system. Water and benzene and mercury forms three phase system. The system in which solid, liquid and vapor are in equilibrium form three phase system. For example, ice, water and vapor. Second, components. Component is the minimum number of independent variable constituents with the help of which the composition of each phase can be expressed in the form of an equation. The water system consists of three phases that is ice, water and vapor in equilibrium. Though it is the three phase system but then also we can represent chemical composition of each phase is same that is H2O. Each phase can be represented by formula H2O. Thus it is one component system. And the last one is degree of freedom. The minimum number of variable factors such as pressure, temperature and concentration which must be fixed in order that conditions of the system may be completely defined is called degree of freedom. It is also called the degree of variance. The system with one degree of freedom is called univariant or monovariant system. With two degree of freedom it is called bivariant. And with no degree of freedom it is called non-variant. Behavior of a gas is governed by the equation PV is equals to RT. It means if pressure and temperature are fixed, volume can have only one definite value. Thus, any two variables are required to define the condition of system completely. So, the system is bivariant. So, please note that phases are the separation of the physical state while components is the separation between the chemical composition and degree of freedom is the parameter which can define the state of particular compound. So, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to receive the latest updates.